Oh God. Oh my God. You guys are seeing this, right? I'm out, <laughs> I'm out on a lake. I can't believe it. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. So, you guys have not seen me in a very, very long time. Uh, for all you new subscribers, if you don't know who I am, my name is Nick. I run the channel NB Edits with my buddy Brandon. He is not with me, I'm doing a little solo trip. And if you guys read the title of this video, you guys know that uh, I'm up here in northern Wisconsin and I am looking for some early ice. Now a little background for all you new people to the channel. We usually try to be the very first ones to film a YouTube video on early ice in Wisconsin. And if you guys scroll through the last couple years of videos, you can see that we have been out usually extremely early. Now today is Friday, November 24th, the day after Thanksgiving. And this is the latest since we've been doing YouTube that we will be on ice. The way I'm gonna be searching traditionally, normally I would go drive to a bunch of lakes um, that I know freeze first and I walk through the woods and I go and find them. Now this year we actually purchased a drone and you know we use it for filming uh, the last couple videos and it's been awesome um, but today i'm going to be using it as a search tactic now instead of putting on a bunch of miles and a bunch of miles walking um, i'm going to put the drone up and i'm just going to drive it around and i'm going to check some lakes and see if there's ice now if i find ice i'm going to drive my vehicle to that lake walk through the woods then obviously go out spot it see how much ice we're working with and uh, see where the progression is for northern wisconsin now, today, I find myself already at a lake. Now, if I walk down here, you guys can see uh, it's looking pretty open. Now, if I scan to my left, you can see there is some ice over here. But the rest of the lake, yeah, it's not looking too promising. Now, the area that I'm in in northern Wisconsin, uh, the road that I'm on actually has about eight different lakes. Um, within I don't know probably a couple miles of each other so what I'm gonna do I think this is gonna be a good starting spot considering this lake does not have ice I'm gonna fly it up I'm gonna check some of the smaller shallower lakes around the area and uh, just see what we find I'm hoping we should find some ice I mean I usually come up here a um, couple cold nights and I can usually find some traces of it but never know so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get the drone out and we're gonna send it up and See what we find. All right, you guys, so now this is my drone that we have purchased this year. This is the DJI Mini Pro 3. Fantastic little drone for just the little cinematic shots that we get for our videos. Works perfect, I can fit in my back pocket, pull it out. It's only got like a 30 minute run time, um, but it's just quick enough to go up, get your shots and whatnot. But today, like I said, I'm using it to search for some ice. So I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to launch this thing from right here. Turn it on here. Take off. Go ahead, send it up. So I'm gonna start recording. I'm gonna have my voice overlaid over the top of this so you guys can see this live with me while I'm looking at this. So. If you see my left right away, you can see this is the lake that was in the intro behind me. And you can see not much ice, pretty much the entire, well, pretty much the entire lake is completely open. You can see a little bit to the north there that's a little froze. And then you can see to the left here, you can see that there is some ice forming over in this corner. Now this lake I have fished. Um, haven't really done well, but it is extremely deep. It's like 45 feet deep for a small little lake. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna keep flying the drone up just a little bit. And as I get a little higher, you guys will probably start to see some other lakes. Like I said, there are a bunch of lakes on this road here. So if you look to the north, you can see there's a lake over there. And that one, that one looks, looks a little more promising. Now, let me go ahead, I'm gonna just fly the drone over there you can see that one's pretty much all the way iced over versus the one that we're on right now is uh, I'd say 95% open this one's just got about 5% that isn't open so that's pretty cool to see 
go ahead, fly down. Now, knowing that it's not completely locked means it's probably not that much ice. I'd say it's probably less than an inch. And you can see that is completely snow covered, which normally is not very ideal. Um, normally when you get some snow on it, even if it's just a little bit, that kind of acts as an insulation and it'll really slow down the progress of this early ice. Now it doesn't take much. Once you get it skimmed and completely locked, it can make two inches of ice in a night. So it really won't take too long, but snow has got to kind of absorb in that, which isn't really the best for safe ice, but it is what it is. You get a bunch of ice up here, you get a bunch of snow. That's just kind of how it goes. So if I pan this way to the right, you can see a few more lakes. These ones look like they are also locked. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fly over to these bad boys and kind of see what we're working with. If I do find um, a body of water that is completely locked, I'm going to take the drone back over here. We're gonna go ahead, drive to that lake. Uh, we're gonna walk through the woods, we're gonna spot it, check out how much ice is there and uh, just kind of see what we're working with. So as I fly this drone over here, kind of see what we're working with. Looks like this one is also, I'd say, I don't know, 90% frozen. Looks like just that northeast corner is open a little bit, which, you know, it is early still. It just started getting cold the last couple days. So no surprise that there's still some open water on some of these lakes. Um, usually the lakes that we find with early ice this time of the year are usually the really small shallow lakes. Um, the bigger lakes are still gonna be a couple weeks out, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys the progression and what we do to find this early ice because sometimes it really does take a little bit of scouting to go ahead and find this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna lower this one. You can see it's kind of a creek running into it, pretty cool. Um, but this one looks completely locked. Uh, not a very big lake. I have uh, been to this lake. This is normally where we film um, the area where we normally find first ice in Wisconsin, but lower this down a little bit for you guys you can see this one yeah this is completely locked not gonna waste too much time I think this is one um, I'm gonna have to park on the side of the road and walk through the woods a little bit but I think I'm gonna go check this one out because that one is completely locked which means there's got to be a decent amount of ice um, I'm not exactly sure but I got my safety stuff I got my spud bar so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna fly this drone back we're gonna get back in the truck and uh, head on over there and see what the heck we're working with need this guy. Okay, well, currently walking through the woods, walking back to that body of water that I found that was completely locked. Got my spot bar with me now. Walk down here, and check it out. Now this is a bog lake, so you do have to be careful with bog lakes um, because they're not like a traditional lake where you know you walk off the side and uh, it's like a foot deep. No, bog lakes um, you can walk off the side and it's like 10 feet deep. So got to be careful. I'm probably I'm not even gonna try to probably walk on this. Um, I don't know how thick it is, but it's gotta for sure be at least two inches for me to even try it and. I don't, uh, I don't have a buddy with me today, so I'm not even gonna attempt. So we're gonna go down here. Oh yeah, there's definitely ice. I'm gonna check to see the thickness here and kind of see where we're at. Well, you guys can see, completely locked. Kind of hard to tell with the sun in the background there, but I can go ahead and walk down here a little ways. So I went ahead, I found kind of like this little inlet here. I'm gonna just spud this out because um, the main shoreline on the main lake doesn't look ideal. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to start chiseling here. Kind of see what we're working with. All right. Well, that's a pretty good sign. So this is super, super clear ice, which is the best ice. I know it's snow covered, that's not ideal, but 
If you guys are going to be coming out here on the super early ice, I would not recommend anything that is cloudy. You're going to want to stay off of. But me, knowing my body weight and my spud bar, I know that if I have two inches of solid clear ice that you can see straight through, I know it's the sketchiest because um, you can see bottom, but if you guys can find the clearest ice possible, that's what you want to walk on. Um, and I know for my body weight, two inches of ice can support me, but you do have to be extremely cautious. You got to spot every step because it could be two inches here and then even just a half inch, um, 10 feet ahead of you that you might think is good would be enough to send you in. And trust me, I've fallen in before. I fell in last year over my head for the first time and it's not ideal. You guys want to make every precaution possible um, to make sure you're not going in. Now I do have a floating Eskimo suit on and normally I have my spuds and a buddy with me if I'm going out on early ice. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to be walking out there today because uh, I guarantee I'm going to fall through because this is only, I don't know, that's probably a good inch and a half. But like I said, I need two inches for sure. Um, and the shoreline looking a little sketchy. It's just, it's just not ideal. I'm a far ways away from anything at this point and I fall in I'm gonna be really cold and really miserable for a long time before I get home so that's what we're working with lake is completely locked so super exciting but we do uh, still got a few more days before we could probably walk out on this lake I just want to get out check a few more show you guys kind of the progression on more than just two bodies of water up here so you can kind of get an idea but yeah, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna see maybe, you know, if there's even a small pond or a puddle off the side of the road that I can at least stand on. I'm gonna at least try to stand on something today just so I can get that itch out of me. But this is good progression. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, start walking back to the truck here and go ahead, uh, check a few more lakes. Well, so the third little lake here. And uh, yeah, not looking too good here. Uh, we got some ice here. Look at that, I'm gonna break through. Not very, uh, not very strong and I'm definitely not gonna take any more steps out. But, you know, we're on ice. Uh, this one's got a little bit longer before this one freezes. A lot of these lakes up here, I actually thought there'd be more ice, but must have been a little windy. And like I said, a lot of times this video, that snow definitely didn't help. But I'm gonna go ahead, I passed this little lake um, actually on the way to this lake they call it a lake but I'm gonna be honest it's not even an acre pond and it is locked so I'm gonna go down there and see if I can walk on it just to do it well we have made it to another lake um, I had to hike a little bit into into this place but not too bad and yeah this one also completely locked not super big um, by any means as you can probably tell by the background I chiseled a hole kind of right back here and I think this one I might be able to just at least step out there and uh, just to do it. Um, I didn't bring any fishing poles with me or anything like that but I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna see if I can safely just stand like kind of out there scratch the itch off of being able to stand on early ice. Oh god should I do it? Oh god! Oh my God, you guys are seeing this, right? I'm out, <laughs> I'm out on a lake. I can't believe it. Wow. So this ice is even better than the last one. Hopefully you guys can hear me still with being this far away from the camera, but this ice is super, super clear underneath this little dusting of snow. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to chisel a little hole, I'm going to bring back the ice for you guys just so you can kind of see what we're working with. Got to figure out how to get back on shore here safely. So, not a ton, but you can tell it's super clear ice. And that's probably a good, uh, that's probably over two inches of ice if you measure from down here. It's pretty solid. Now, like I said, this is a pretty small body of water. So, 
is there fish in here i have no idea that's the whole thing you struggle with when you guys want to be like the first first ones out on early ice it's one of those things where a lot of the bodies bodies of water that you guys are going to come across are not really going to have fish because chances are i mean for all i know this this thing might only be four feet deep i have no idea it could be 15 feet deep i don't know i don't have any electronics with me but point is a lot of the spots are going to be shallow spots where you know maybe you'll catch a few smaller panfish maybe some pike something like that you know some backwaters or some bigger flowages stuff like that um so it's always a challenge trying to find like good spots with good fish that also freeze fast which luckily enough for us we do have a few um, i haven't gone to them today i'm in a completely different spot um, in wisconsin than i normally fish um actually today uh, but this spot has been generally colder than the rest of the state. Um, so I monitor the weather as much as I possibly can um, and pick like, all right, today's the day I'm going to go and search. And guys, this is a win. Um, I was able to stand out there. Don't recommend doing it, but I did it. I just wanted to scratch it, show you guys that there is walkable ice, walkable ice up here in northern Wisconsin. Hopefully the next couple days with it being cold, can lock a few more of these lakes up we can have one hell of a year that is pretty much going to be the end of this video hopefully you guys enjoyed i know i rambled a bunch um it wasn't super informative as far as like fishing wise and whatnot but i just wanted to get up here film a video for you guys and just know you guys are seeing this on sunday the 26th i'm filming this on the 24th so a lot of our content that you guys are going to be seeing are usually a couple days within putting it out on youtube so you guys can use the information you see today um, knowing where the ice is at today and hopefully get out when you guys get an opportunity to so we try to bring you that as fast as we possibly can again gonna be an awesome year really excited chances are you guys we are gonna be on ice by this Sunday by the time you're watching this so stay tuned we're gonna be ramping up the videos two or three a week so if you guys have any questions about ice fishing any content you guys want to see leave it all in the comment section below I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna start walking back to the truck I'm super excited if you guys are as well for early ice make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video and I will talk to you guys on the next one tight lines from NB edits